Okay, so now we've got the Ubisoft logo again. Is it actually ready? Yes, okay, cool, cool. Here we go, everybody. Welcome to Rocket Robot on Wheels, a very underrated 3D platformer for the N64 era. So this was back in the golden days of 3D platformers with Diamond Dozen. This one, well, you know what? Let's let's just jump on into it, shall we? All right, we got free files. They're all occupied. Well, we'll erase file C. That's just my backup file. I have never beaten this game, by the way. I have played I have played through like all the worlds, but I have never reached the final boss because I was not able to collect as much stuff as uh, we needed. There's a lot of stuff to collect in this game, and the worlds are hard. This is a hard game, as you'll as you'll see. Hey, toy collector, welcome to the stream. You're just in time for us to start Rocket Robot on Wheels. Hey, welcome. <laughs> Up in mm -hmm. space, <laughs> rocket. Mm -hmm. Rocket. Mm -hmm. Stay sharp now. Mm -hmm. Tomorrow, Whoopi World opens, the happiest park in the galaxy. Here, one person can run the whole place. Mm -hmm. Even one robot, eh? At least for one night. Mm -hmm. I'm going to you to the party. Keep an eye on the tokens mm -hmm. and the tickets. Mm -hmm. The machines are perfectly in balance. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. You won't have any trouble. Everything is automated. Oh, and make sure Whoopi and Jojo don't go hungry. Mm. Whoopi's our star, you know. Mm. Whoopi? Fishy, fishy, fishy. Yes, please. Mm. Thank you. Good walrus. Mm. Jojo? No, you don't like fish, do you? Mm. I'll have Rocket put out a big dish of raccoon kibble. Mm. I know I saved the token to start my car. Jojo's not having any of this. He's gonna make it Jojo World, not Whoopi World. That's doesn't. That's not alliterative, Jojo. Mm. It's not as catchy. <laughs> Aha! Mm. Here it is. Mm. Bye bye. Be good. Wow. Jojo didn't waste any time! <laughs> Just snapped his fingers. Oh, oh. K.O. <laughs> be good, he says. Oh, it'll be good, all right. <laughs> Everything went wrong the instant that guy stepped into the teleporter. <laughs> like, immediately. That's an annoying alarm. You gonna do anything about that rocket? I don't know. Let's go. Hey, how's it going, X dude? Welcome to stream. Hello, Eddie. Welcome as well. I did have a great Thanksgiving break. This this is a fun game. Yeah. Like I said, underrated 3D platformer. Oh no. Jojo and Whoopi uh, went into Whoopi World together. Thankfully, he dropped an A ticket on the way out. You found a ticket! Jojo scattered these all over the place. Collect as many as you can so you can reactivate everything in the park. Now roll forward and use this ticket to trigger the ticket switch right in front of you. If he hadn't dropped that, we'd be screwed because we literally wouldn't be locked out of Whoopi World. That would not be very would be tastic. This is a ticket switch. It'll reactivate one of the areas of the park that Jojo shut down. Once you get into the park, go find Tinker, the repair robot. He's got useful information that'll help you defeat Jojo. <laughs> boop, boop, boop. Here we go. So yeah, it's a 3D platformer, but like all the worlds in the game are theme park related, which is pretty awesome. Hey dude. Rocket, great to see you. Everything's gone crazy. Jojo must have been planning this for months. That's why he was able to in immediately engage with his secret plan. Like, the, the instant the, uh, the guy teleported out, Jojo's just like, time to take Whoopi and everything <laughs> and randomly distribute them throughout the world. <laughs> yeah, this game is called Rocket Robot on Wheels for the N64. 
Yeah, Jojo, Jojo's been uh, planning this for sure. I don't know how I'm going to get everything working again. Jojo's rewired the whole park. I'm working on reactivating the ticket switches. They should help you get things going. Oh, I almost forgot. I just got the entrance to Clowny Island working. Check it out. See if Jojo's left any tickets lying around. I wish I could do more. Keep checking back with me from time to time. Good luck. Yuck, yuck, Clowny Island! I don't, I don't like clowns, but Clowny Island is my favorite world in the game. You found your first Tinker Token! There are three colors of Tinker Tokens. Silver are worth one, gold are worth five, and purple are worth ten. There are 200 in each world. They can be used to start up vehicles and get special upgrades from Tinker. Happy hunting! We also need to get all the Tinker Tokens in a world to get one of the tickets. Okay, so this, this one thing you gotta know about Rocket Robot on Wheels, this game has, like, two good physics. Like, the physics in this game are pretty much flawless, but, like, it's weird that they're this good in an N64 game. It actually makes it really difficult. Alright, I guess we'll head into World 1, Clowny Island. So I mentioned every world is amusement park themed. Oh, Rocket, it's Tinker. I got the sensors working. There's at least one ticket in this world, maybe more. Go up that ramp and left at the big dinosaur and look for four huge yellow flowers. Be careful, I think Jojo's been fiddling with the security bots and the clowns, and maybe other robots as well. Some of those bots can pack a wallop. Try to avoid the security bots for now. I'm working on an upgrade to help you deal with them, but I'll need 80 Tinker tokens to complete it. All right. Hey, how's it going, Mobius? <laughs> Yeah, this, this nobody remembers this game from the N64 era, but it's really good. Well, I again, I haven't beaten it, but it is it is what I've played is good. Yeah, this first world, I know like every world is kind of amusement park themed. This first world is basically like, oh, it's just an amusement park in and of itself. Hey, it's the clown who kind of like fo just follows you where you go. He's 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 weird. Oh, an attraction. Can I go in? Beware is closed while we work out a few problems. The back entrance is for employees only. I'm an employee! That describes me! Thankfully, the clowns can't hurt you, but they will snatch anything that you got picked up, so... Just, just watch out for that. Yeah, even like moving in a straight line can be hard in this game because you're on a single wheel. This is the machine console. When you find all the machine parts, bring them back here to start up the big machine. Look sharp! Like, if you notice me kind of zigzagging around, I'm not doing that intentionally. That's just part of the game. <laughs> the dinosaur is out of order. Once we get the seven parts in place, we'll be back in business. That is quite a dinosaur. Um, I'm not really planning any Christmas-specific videos, but I mean, there will be videos in the December month. Congratulations! You found a machine part! Every world has a big machine that JoJo has removed seven parts from. When you find them all, return them to the machine console. Hey! Get out of here! Gophers only! You just you caught me in a tractor beam and chucked me away. Alright, we'll avoid gopher this time. Whoa. No, gopher! Put me down! <laughs> Sorry, Shunny! <laughs> I mean, he's not hurting me, he's just, you know... Just annoying. Yay! Rocket! Tinker again! Jojo just cut power to the sensor array! You'll have to find the rest of the tickets on your own. Check back with me from time to time, I might be able to bring up something useful. Okay, oh. Get back here, you stupid screw. The screw seems lost. Perhaps you can find a place where it'll be more comfortable. We have our own tractor beam we can catch stuff in. Right now we can throw stuff around, but we can't actually destroy anything. Here we go. There! Screwed himself in nice and tight. Eh. Coming soon! A new attraction! Just four screws and we're done! Oh, Eddie, that was you who requested Zero Mission. Zero Mission, I will play. That'll either be the next game or uh, two games from now. But that will get played tonight. Hey! Screw off. Hey! Wow, oh, this guy's being annoying. There we go. Oh. 
Hey there, little buddy. Want to race around the island? If you win, I'll give you something cool. How about it? Oh, not yet. Okay, some other time then. Yeah, we're, we're definitely not fast enough to beat a literal car. <laughs> Christmas is my favorite holiday as well, but there's a surprising lack of Christmas-related games that are actually good. It would be awesome if I could create, like, a Christmas game that's actually good, but I'm not talented or artistic enough to do that. Whoopee! Oh, one other thing you can do. If you press start, you can go to hints and stats, and you can get hints on where the tickets are. So there are two vehicles we can find. The Dune Dog is in the dunes. Where else? Put four screws in place and you'll get a surprise vehicle. We've also got things like swing into action on some floating platforms, the Battle of Midway, hidden entrance, be observant. Who's up for a race? You may need a little help. Pick up some marines at the drive through Help the screws, then take a spin. Once around is enough. Cro coast through five targets. Track across the tracks if you dare. The dinosaur needs a few parts. Check out the view from the uh, carnosaur's cranium. Get a handle on the midway, and tokens are always useful. They have a hint system in this, but, like, you'd be surprised. It's still not an easy game, despite that. Give me that. The clown had his screw. This is my screw. Yo, is the ever screw in this, like, crater field? Oh. No, but there's another machine part here. I gotta check just because draw distance isn't always the best on the N64. Anyone who's played uh, Mario Kart 64 Sherbet Land knows this. Whoopee! Alright, where's that last screw at? Eh, we'll find it later. In the meantime, another machine part. I have not seen that game. New. No. Okay, so that's the portal that takes us out. We don't want to go through there. We should hunt around the dunes for a bit, though. Oh! Jackpot! We get another machine piece. And here we go! The Wienermobile! You need 50 Tinker Tokens to activate the Dune Dog. Oh. But it's right there. That's fine. Whatever. Oh, hey! There's that last screw. Get over here. I'm not done with you. That robot will actually hurt us. If we allow it to. So let's just keep a wide berth. We also gotta sneak past the clowns. Because the clowns... Anything you have in your tractor beam, the clowns are gonna try to steal from you. Just like that. So that sound effect for the clowns when they snatch something is definitely used in Donkey Kong Country Game Boy Advance. <laughs> when you try to hit the Crushas with Diddy Kong and they just laugh it off. <laughs> oh, I'm glad, I'm glad you're having fun, Proxima. <laughs> yeah, the controls definitely take some getting used to, and they're definitely a lot worse if you try to emulate this. I'm playing this right now on an actual N64. That's part of it. Congratulations for starting the roller coaster. Here's how to build a coaster. A red square shows you where the next piece will go. Uh, use the control stick to draw the roller coaster. If you don't hold any buttons while you draw, the pieces will all stay near the ground and will be fairly simple. If you hold A and move with the stick, the next piece will be twistier. If you hold B and move the stick, the next piece will go high off the ground. You can hold both at once. Try them all in different combinations to see all the different pieces possible. Use left and right on the C buttons to rotate your view to see the coaster from different angles. Use Z to delete a piece and use R to leave the console. Yeah, this is a roof this is a really cool like idea where it's like, hey, you can make your own roller coaster. So this is where the pieces are kind of simple, but we can also like put in crazy loops like this. You can also make it go uphill and have all sorts of crazy shenanigans. Like that. Let's go for a ride now. Now, like, you can literally build your own coaster and then you get to ride in your own coaster. Like, this is so cool. And we even get, like, a first-person view, so it, it's like you're literally riding your own coaster. Oh, no, not Elf Boyne! <laughs> oh, wee! 
Hope nobody is, gets motion sick easily. Oh, I'm gonna barf. Oh my gosh, this looks so intense. I would not ride this coaster in real life. No way, no how. Whoa, oh my gosh, we almost hit our heads. And we got some tokens along the way. Oh boy, the G ticket. You've heard of E-Ticket Attractions, this is a G-Ticket Attraction. Hooray! <laughs> yeah, Roller Crest was really cool. Also, uh, if we go in, you can now see there are targets on here. So the goal is we want to hit, go through all the t all of the uh, targets. So that right there will take us through the one target. That'll take us through the two target. Free target is up in the air. So that'll get us there. We can build over the track if we're high up now. Also see that purple token up there? See that purple token? If we do a twisty track piece there that's high up, then we'll actually grab it. Aha! Uh -huh. There we go! That coaster should get all the targets. As well as the remaining tokens, so let's roll! <laughs> Elf yourself. <laughs> no thanks! I already <laughs> am reluctant to start any new uh, playthroughs for the rest of the year. One down, four to go! I think pretty much all of December, the streams will just be various randomizers. Those are fun one-offs. Not high, like, uh, commitment. And they're always just a fun time. Here we go. Purple token! And now we can buy the hot dog car. We can ride the Wienermobile! Yeah! It's such a cool... Like, there's a lot of really cool stuff in this game. Even if it's very frustrating at times with the, uh, the crazy good physics. Yes, this is a time where the physics are too good. So good that it actually can ruin the experience at a lot of places. Especially when it comes to throwing stuff. Alright, here we go. Hot dog! Wienermobile! Congratulations, you've activated the Doom Dog! Steer with the control stick, accelerate with A, brake, and back up with B. If you get turned over, use Z to right yourself. Use R to exit, have fun. They're like, yeah, you might get stuck in this car, but if so, just use the Z button. And yeah, you can just drive the car around the dunes. It's, it's pretty cool. Hey, dude. In some areas, you'll see handles you can hang from. They may not always look alike, so keep your eye peeled. To hang from a handle, jump close to it and hit B. To let go, hit B again. You can also jump, and you'll let go of the handle automatically. Try swinging back and forth to get higher. Yeah! yeah. So that's how we get these tickets. Yeah. All right, time for some platforming in the water. But yeah, like, oh, oh, you're you're hanging away from the middle. Well, it's gonna tilt in that direction, and and like the slope will kind of push you off. So like I said, this, the physics are like too good. Oh wow, you found a booster pack. This adds one more unit to your energy meter. Every little bit helps. How's it going, Brock? Welcome, welcome. Yeah, archipelago. No, actually, some of uh, a bunch of people from Shaggy's Discord are planning on an Archipelago session eventually. We were planning in January. I'm not sure if that's still going to happen that soon, but I'm actually going to be part of it. I'll be playing uh, Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix as my game, and we're all going to be playing different games. If it actually comes to pass, which I really hope it does, it's going to be a lot of fun. Oh, I thought that was a golden ticket. <laughs> <Very cool. laughs> I thought it was a golden ticket. A golden uh, token. It was a, just a seashell. Get, get back, security bot. Just let me ride the Wienermobile in peace. Oh-ho! 
That looks suspicious. Here we go. Welcome to Beware. Be smart, be quick, and be careful. Beware is like a bee-themed haunted house. <laughs> These weird, like, animatronic bees? This game is, is pretty awesome, honestly. I mean, it's not as good as, like, the Banjos or Mario 64, but I... Maybe this is a bit of a hot take. I like this more than Rayman 2, which is kind of considered the other big, like, free platformer of the era! Don't be afraid to go a little slow. You know, you don't have to move at max speed just because you can move at max speed. Also, that is a machine part. Yeehaw! Uh, 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 no, 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 worthy. No, no, no. No, no, no. You don't get. You don't get to do that here on my channel. Yeah, bots are not allowed here. Oh no! The bee pushed me off a cliff while I was distracted by the bots. <laughs> You know, it's not, it's not that easy. It's not that easy to uh, get banned instantly from Artie's chat. But uh, if you are a bot, that is an instant ban, yes. Hey, Link, how's it going? Yeah, like, like I said, really good physics, but that's almost a detriment at times. Also, there are a couple of worlds that I genuinely just am like, I know I'm miss. I'm, I know there's huge portions of the world I've just never even encountered, though. Like, I think it's, um, World 5. World 5 in the game, which is also the second to last world, because the worlds are really big. I genuinely am like, I have, I did not find even a single ticket in that world. And I feel like I explored a decent amount. Thanks, camera. <laughs> Man, they weren't kidding when they said, beware. There was a bot in the Twitch chat, not in the YouTube chat. We haven't had a lot of them recently, but, uh... They... <laughs> they always come back. I think that's how that goes. Wee-wee! Oh, oh my gosh, dude. Also, you can't, in this game, you can't just jump from a standstill and then immediately start moving at max speed in midair. You have to get the run- Oh. Like I said, man, because you're on a wheel, you can't just turn around on a dime either. Oh, this is the first game made by Sucker Punch. Oh! Wait, Sucker Punch got absorbed by Sony? It made the Sly Cooper game. I actually did not know that. That's kind of cool, though. No! I am I am so bad at this. <laughs> Go back in. This is just World 1, folks. At least you don't die if you fall off of Beware. You just get spit into the sandy dunes. No wonder this place is under construction. Like, yeah, um, we had this open. But then guests kept falling in the abyss. And then... Uh, they didn't like how they had to ride the Wienermobile back, so... <laughs> oh, oh, I see that up there. Yep, there's one on that side, too. Some of these tokens are in pretty devious spots. Especially if you're in a position where you're like, I'm missing, like, one token. It's like, oh, have fun finding that one. Uh, yeah. Did the camera just do a 180 on me? It did. I turned to look at chat, and it's like, huh, huh. How about we make it so you don't see where you're going? That sounds like fun! No, it doesn't, Donald. 
Ay, ay, ay. Okay, it's okay. We made it to the end of Beware. <laughs> the Lady Bee is waving us good B bye. That's... You know what? Uh, you can unsubscribe for that joke. That wasn't even a good one. Yuck, yuck, yuck! Oh, uh, Tinker, can I buy the new uh, thing from you, or do I need more tickets for that? I probably need more tickets for that. All right, let's let's get the Wiener Mobile. Come on, Wiener Mobile! All right, here we go. Here are the rings. This game has a bunch of vehicles in it, but, like, only the Doom Dog is, like, a normal car that you can drive around. All the others have some weird gimmick to it that makes them annoying to drive. <laughs> Uh-oh. Mm. Oh, yikes. The time missions are tougher than I remember. Never mind, we did it just in time! Woo! I miss the days of the good old simple... 3D platformer. I get that they oversaturated the market for a while, but like, it... The last time we had, like, a real 3D platformer was Mario Odyssey. At least a mainstream one. Like, the 2D side-scrolling platform? Oh, uh, hi. Hi, Mr. Clown. Don't mind me. Aha! Let's go into the midway. Mm. Welcome to the midway. Try your hand at free games of throwing skill. To grab an object, hit B to drop it. Hit R to throw a held object. Hit B and aim with the control stick. Then B again to throw. We already did this with the screws. There will be a secret uh, ticket hidden here that will be revealed if you can win all free games. Good luck. Oh, you were probably supposed to drop the screws instead of throwing them. Whoops. Tick uh, chick tac toe. Are you ready to challenge the chicken? No actual chickens are harmed in this game. Okay, I believe you. Chick tac toe. Please do not harass the chicken. Go ahead! Whoa! What was that for? I get to go first. I'll pick the middle spot. Oh, that was brilliant! Not! Like taking candy from a robot! This hurts you worse than it hurts me! Go ahead! Alright, then I guess I'll go here. That was uh, a really stupid move. Foul interference, roughing. Uh, go ahead. Ah, uh, you fool! You fell into my trap. I win no matter what you do. <laughs> yeah. See you later, chicken. Congratulations, you won one game, beat the other two, and win a ticket. I'm pretty sure if you throw the thing at the chicken, he makes a bad move instead of a smart move. And that's the main way you make sure you don't tie with him. <laughs> Alley cats, pick up a tomato and knock over some cats. No actual cats are harmed in this game. That's good, because I like cats. Throw the tomatoes at the cats. Knock down three yellow cats. Alright, knock him down. The ones in the front row don't seem to knock down. There we go, knock down four red cats. Knocked off four Kit Kats. I don't know why we're throwing tomatoes at the cats in particular, but. I'm also really glad that they have the cursor that lets you see where the ball is gonna go. Because uh, this game would be significantly more difficult if it did not have that. Like, you gotta aim it at their face to knock them down, otherwise they just stay back up. Yeah, like, if you hit the top of their head, that's not gonna knock them down. That's two games won. One more to go. All right. Oh, yes, this is the best one! Feed the presidents! Toss apples at the four great statesmen! No actual presidents are harmed in this game. <laughs> I forgot about this one! I completely forgot about this one. Feed the presidents! Ready, set, go! <laughs> no, George Washington. Eat the apple! Eat the apple! Oh no, I like the cherry trees. Eat the apple! I cannot tell a lie! <laughs> Thomas Jefferson. Get the, 
get that in your mouth. The pursuit of happiness. All right, Teddy Roosevelt, eat it. Eat it, Teddy Roosevelt. You are such a bad aim. There we go. Bully. All right, Abraham Lincoln, eat the apple. Congratulations, here's your ticket. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed that, Presidents. Yeah! I forgot about the Presidents game. That's so good. Okay. There's also, like, a handle we can grab around here. At least I think we can grab it. Oh, that's right. But it requires us to move a crate. This is one of the trickier ones to get in the world. Yeah. Nope, drop it. Oh, yeah. See? Secret handle. And you gotta stack the crate for it. But this lets you get on the roof of the midway. Every level in Rocket Robot Wii Wheels has at least one, uh... Like, ticket that's in a really hard-to-find spot. Uh, no! No! <laughs> God damn it! Gosh darn it! Gosh darn it! Stop it! Yeah. This squeaky wheel gets the grease, I guess. More like the squeaky wheel makes you fall off the cliff at the least opportune moment. <laughs> How do you like them, apples? Poodles? Okay, where's that last... <laughs> where's that bleep final machine piece? <laughs> Around here somewhere. I guess we... We can use the Dune Dog to race the other car now that we have it unlocked. Ugh. I just hope he doesn't pull a rabbit from uh, Donkey Kong 64 and be like, Oh, uh, actually, this race doesn't count. Hey, buddy, nice to meet you again. Care for a race? Yes. Great, follow me to the start line. When the race starts, follow the dotted line around the island. Okie dokie. So we go here. Uh. I don't get it. He didn't follow us. Hucky, hucky! Okay, uh, well, that's a little awkward, Mr. Potter. So you don't want to. I do! I went to the star line and you didn't do anything! Potter, 10 points for Gryffindor for being stupid and not knowing how the race works. <laughs> I No, no, Link, I never beat this game. I made it to the final world food fright, though. That was a fun one. But you need a bunch of tickets to face the final boss. Oh, you jerk! Now you decide to go. All right. You can't beat the Wienermobile. It's too fast. Yeah, you do. Yoink, yoink, yoink! Uh, yo, yo, yo. Glad it wasn't like you deviated too far from the dotted line. Fail. Now that's impressive! You even missed the finish line, but you still won. I wouldn't have believed if I hadn't seen it. You're really good. Here's the prize I said I'd give you. I don't know what it's good for, but I hope it brings you luck. Hey, he's a good winner. Or a good loser. All right, we got three tickets left. Two of them are in the giant machine, and uh, one of them we need to go to the giant machine for. Where is that last machine piece? It's around here somewhere. Maybe it's in the dunes. Maybe it's like literally just lying out in the open in the dunes and I'm just like, uh hey, burp -a -derp -a -derp. Also, is Tinker gonna give me like the super cool, like ultra powered thing that he was working on? Or do I have to leave the world for that? I don't really want to leave the world for that. Because he might just be like, still prototype, you left the world for no reason. You don't want to go too deep in the water. Rocket can survive in the water for a bit, but if you go out too deep, you will uh, 
uh, void out. I think I found, like, two of them in the dunes already. There might be a third. There's a lot. There are seven machine pieces, so... Oh, wait. Oh, my gosh. It's literally just right here. Oh, wait. No, that's... You actually might need the dune dog to fit, get this one. Okay, no, that's why. You need the dune dog in order to get that one. Alright, gotta summon the Wienermobile back, wherever it is. I'll just find the, uh, summon button. We're just somewhere. Yo, Wienermobile, let's go! I found the- I found the piece. The car. I thought the button was literally, like, right over here. Here it is. Wienermobile. <laughs> no, no, no. We're not. We're not going out into the the ocean. <laughs> the no. What? How did? How did the physics on that one work? <laughs> I'm not sure if we have to go over the first jump or the second one. Okay, Wienermobile, really? Oh my gosh, there's a there's summon button right there! No! Return from whence you came! <laughs> there we are! You found all the machine parts! Go get the machine console, get it going. Okay, but first let me take a dip. Oh yeah, the soundtrack is great! Pretty different from a lot of the other games, but I'm good. Also, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, climb the Tyrannosaurus's tail before you activate the uh, machine. Otherwise, this part gets a lot more difficult. Oh wait, maybe actually, maybe I'm wrong about this one. Never mind. You can't. Never mind. Ignore what I just said. Congratulations! You've started the big machine! There's one in every world except Whoopi World, so keep hunting! And now the T-Rex starts moving. It's one foot. Ow! Do we need any of the upgrades to get the stuff here, or can we do it all in one go? Alright. Time to climb. Yeah, it's it's World 1 and Rocket, and we're basically already in Tecton Clock from Mario 64. It's a tough game. Also, I hope all the tokens that we need are in here. That wasn't good. Let's try this one again. Hey, Dreamfinder! You're here too! What's What's up? Oh, I'm strolling through the park one day in the very, very month of me. Let's try that one again. Let's, let's try that one again, Squidward. I don't, I don't think that's an actual one. Okay, that that was that was that was just stupid on my part. Oh, come on! Yeah. Everyone's joining in for Rocket. This is cool. I'm glad. I'm glad people can learn about this game because it is underrated. In some areas, you'll see handles you can hang from. Yeah, I know this. Oh, you do? Well, I'm telling you again. Yeah. That part was no easier. All right, camera. Sometimes the camera works in one direction, but not the others. Oh no! Mechanical piranha. I'm pretty sure the mechanical piranha can actually hurt you. Yep, yeah, yes they can. You also cannot track the reef. Okay, you know. Wow. Camp in the area. You picked up a power cell! Yeah, it, it, it refills your health. 
Yeah, thanks for joining in, Link. Have a good, have a good one. Yeah, you, tr you try to, you try to rob me of my ticket. No, Who Whoopi needs them all. We need all of the tokens. All of them. This is not rareware, Dreamfinder. This is sucker punch. Which I think this was their only N64 game. But they eventually made the Sly Cooper games, apparently. Okay. Not what I wanted. That's really not what I wanted. Ah, no. Leave me alone. First, ba first Banjo Kazooie. Now this. The sharks really just are out for me. And it, no! It didn't register. I jumped when I said the, when I pushed the jump button. Oh, this is this is bad. Act. This is bad. If the sharks decide to be jerks, there's. Room. Yep. If the sharks decide to be jerks, there's not much you can do, honestly. That's okay. It's not like, oh no, you have to collect all the tokens again, <laughs> like in Banjo Kazooie. No, and we can just we can just head back, but we do have to climb all the way back up again. Move a clown. I don't have anything for you. All right, at least we don't have to pick up the t the tokens again. But still, reclimbing the whole thing is not fun. Oh my gosh! I mean, it is a 3D platformer for the Nintendo 64, so you, you gotta expect some bugs with the camera. Still a better camera than Mario 64. Yeah, this jump is actually hard to make because you constantly keep grappling back onto the one that you jumped off of. Yeah, like, right there. I was literally, like, right next to this new one. And they're just like, you want to go back on the old one even though you're not where near it? There you go. Okay, there was another token down here, so we gotta... We gotta hang for a little longer. Oh, yay. If the camera is, doesn't want to go in one direction, try moving it, like, 360 degrees in the other direction. It actually helps a surprisingly high amount of times. Oh, no! What the butts was that? Are you... Wow! The knockback on that was absurd. Go up there all in one go, or was there something I was just missing? Yeah. yeah! Oh, also, Eddie, I should ask, are you gonna stick around for another hour or so, or do you have to leave uh, relatively soon? Because that will impact when I place your action. Because I want to make sure you're here for zero mission when I play it since you requested it. Optional way. But not optional for us, because we want them tokens. Oh, I hate this part. 
part, because there are tokens on top of the dinosaur, and if you fall off the dinosaur and you don't get the tokens, you're in a lot of trouble! Okay. Then I think the remaining tokens are down its back. Okay, uh, yeah, yeah, I, yes, I know how to play. We have, oh shoot, I forgot it's counting the tokens we got in Whoopi World, so we have nine tokens somewhere. Great, I love this part. <laughs> My favorite part of Rocket Robot on Wheels is trying to find the leftover tokens that uh, may not exist. Actually, we might need the upgrade to get the remaining tokens. Genuinely might, so... I'm gonna get the upgrade from Tinker and then come back and see if I can track them down. But if I can't track them down within, like, ten minutes, we're, we're calling it. <laughs> but this has been fun. Okay, alright. We're here, world entry, exit is... should be right... yes. Here it is. Hello, sir. Hmm. Nice job. With these Tinker Tokens, I can give you this new move I call Slam. First, use B to hold an object in the tractor beam, then jump using A and press Z while in the air. You can smash some fiends apart with this move. Try it on anything you can pick up. To start with, the key to the main gate is inside that crystal over there. See if you can smash it open. Come find me again when you have 250 Tinker Tokens. I've got some new ideas. And he literally installs an upgrade. This is a robot programming a robot with new hardware. Back to Cloudy Island! Yuck, yuck! We should be able to smash a bunch of the random junk that's lying up, like this crate. Okay, so that has health in it, which is actually valuable. I'm more interested in the trash cans, though. Okay, yeah, yeah. So you cannot get all of the Tinker Tokens in this world if you don't have the Slam move. So that, presumably the remainder of the tokens are just in miscellaneous uh, pieces of trash. Also, there, it's possible there's like stuff on the roller coaster that I missed. It's like, oh, did you go to, like, this all really far away corner and go all the way up? It's really hard to see, but, uh, there could be a token up there. Okay, no, I, th I think we're good for the roller coaster. Like Zoink Scoop. Every world has 200 tokens in it. So I thought I had reached the 200 mark, but that was my total tokens, including the ones that I picked up in Whoopi World, so that was actually not the 200 for this world. Alright, use the Wienermobile to try and speed up the process a little bit. We immediately drive it into the ocean. The shells contain energy. I don't really need that. One thing you really don't want is you don't want it to be. A oh, you missed some in Beware. That would be even a problem. At this point, okay, we are missing two. So if there are just two trash cans that we missed. So Trash can over here. Okay, we're missing one. It's probably a miscellaneous. Aha! There we go! Weeha! We found all the Tinker Tokens in this world. Congratulations! We also found all the tickets, too. 
Pawnee Island is my favorite world in the game. It's just a nice, cohesive amusement park on, like, a beach. It's, it's pretty fun. We got all the golden tickets on that level, too, yes. <laughs> I've got a golden ticket! Get over here, Key. Why did the camera just randomly change to this terrible camera angle? Open the door! Yeehaw! Oh man. There's also World 2 here. <laughs> World 2 is called Paint Misbehaven. I know that's a pun on something, but I, for the life of me, I do not know what it is. That's also a pretty fun world, but it's not like amusement park themed. Also, some of the to some of the tickets here are hidden really well. And that's one of the easier ones to find. That uh, with the tractor beam, yeehaw! <laughs> I think a lot of the stuff here, I'm like, this is really difficult. How do you figure it out? It's like, it's actually like, really easy. You're just overcomplicating it. Which is, yeah, that's, you know, that's valid. Yippee, this is a recharge station. When you find one of these, sock it in and your energy meter will be filled up all the way. Cool. Oh, but before we go, we gotta pick up all these tokens. Cool, there we are. I do believe that's going to do it for Rocket Robot on Wheels. 